There are not many managers that haven't looked back over the last 12 months and said, why didn't we see this coming? Now, clearly there's no easy answers to that, but one of the things that we at Cranfield believe is important is taking an external perspective. Now, I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Catherine Bailey, who's done a lot of work in this area. Now, Catherine, what do we mean by an external perspective and why is it so important? Well, as you say, um, Steve, or as you imply, that uh, businesses and uh, their leaders need to be looking outward and, and looking forward to if they're going to see the future coming, if they're going to shape it, and if they're going to uh, secure that future for their, for their business. And so having an external perspective means that looking outward. So let's go on then and look at a bit more about the how-to. Mm. Uh, it's mm. easy to say external mm. perspective. Uh, many managers say to me, I read the Financial Times, mm -hmm. uh, I keep in touch with people in other companies. Yeah. Uh, I do that already. Yes, it's true that increasingly so managers are doing that. However, our research uh, revealed uh, two things, a revealed a number of different uh, results, but, but two very critical results. The first one um, is that, that there's a very high level of awareness of the need for having that external perspective to succeed both as a business and as an individual in a, bus in a business. So that, that's one thing. Uh, but secondly, there's a fairly low level of practice or effective uh, practice when we come to ask uh, managers, but what do you actually do then? Uh, then you do get some of the, those answers and those are, of course are important. If there's a need for it, where do we go from here? Um, well, we have to actually look at why it is that despite that need, uh, the, the practice of gaining a, an external perspective is, is relatively uh, low. Uh, and there seems to be three core reasons for that. And, and if we look at those, then of course we, we, we've got a, a way forward. The first one is that, that uh, I think the idea of an external perspective is, is rather uh, vague and yet it doesn't, it doesn't need to be. We can uh, look at, at what it takes to be effective at different levels in an, in an organisation and contribute to that wider view. At a functional level you can contribute uh, much more effectively to the organisation. If you build a business perspective, you have that wider business uh, view, your decisions come more, become more aligned, you see, you're seeing what's coming more effectively. If you're working at the business level, as a senior manager, then of course you can uh, perform that, that uh, function so much more effectively if you have an industry view, if you understand what's happening in the industry and where, where your business is positioned, you can contribute much more effectively to the strategic uh, agenda uh, and to, to how the business operates. If you're a business leader uh, level, then of course you've got to be looking much further out. The external perspective you need is outside your industry. Of course you have to understand your industry, that's taken for granted, but it's looking outside. Where is the future of your industry coming from and how can you be at that future first? You won't see that unless you are systematically exposing yourself to an understanding the trends that are shaping the models that are going on in other, in other industries. So real clarity about wh what's the best opportunity for you is important. Second barrier is that we don't really understand how to how to do that really well. I mean, and there are six obvious ways of building an external perspective. Every each one of them can be used at whatever level we're talking about. Simply reading or researching or or or, or yourself uh, investigating that competitor or that industry clearly. Benchmarking, attending events, whether it's within your industry, outside your industry, or within your your business. Simply putting yourself into uh, a position where you come in contact with with people. An open program, uh, for for example, getting using development events as a way of building that that perspective and of course networking both in your business in your industry and externally you can't do it all which is the most effective one uh, for you the third barrier to uh, stops people building and businesses building external perspective is this is that businesses aren't actually uh, favorable to that the conditions aren't favorable at the moment short-term focus operational delivery focus is not conducive to people looking wider. Our development programs don't seem to be, to be working in, in that way in, in businesses at the moment. Portfolios are being, are being cut, they're focusing very much on 
here and now problems and issues, very understandable, very necessary, but where is the balance that, 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 that is, is enabling people to look forward and look into the future, get that wider uh, perspective. And finally, uh, as business leaders, naturally enough, we're concerned about this, this quarter's uh, profits, this quarter's uh, returns, but are we doing things now and are we encouraging other people think, to do things now which help us see uh, the future coming next year uh, and the year after. That's absolutely critical. So what key message would you like to leave managers, organisations, maybe people that help organisations improve? Uh, well, I mean, very clearly, as a manager, every manager should be creating their own personal agenda. What do I need to know more about next to move my, if you, my boundary of, uh, or my view, my horizon out, out a little bit further? Using everyday activity, not waiting for special events, using everyday activity to build that. If you know what's on your agenda, I need to know more about this part of the industry. That, that conversation with a customer is an opportunity to just understand a bit about the industry from their perspective, for example. Uh, not only having the personal agenda, building it in every day, but then being quite selective about the, the development opportunities you get. What is this going to enable me to do? Who will this put me in contact with? Will I be networking with the right, with, uh, at the right level to build the perspective that I know that I need to be building next? If you're a business leader, where is it on the executive agenda? What are you doing yourself? Where is the time in your diary for that future thinking or for asking other people what's happening in the industry or in their, or what's best practice in that, that part of uh, the business worldwide? That sets off their external perspective too. And if you're um, in a position where you're helping businesses uh, develop, then I think it, you just need to be reviewing what, are, what is the portfolio of activities that we're, we're building here? Is it balanced in terms of the here and now and the future? And is it developing the skills and managers to not only seek those with that wider perspective, but also use it really well? Some important points to consider there. Thank you very much. Thank you.